Welcome to 2020 Design, the industry leading interior design solution for kitchen and bathroom professionals. The objective of this training video is to introduce you to the various components of the 2020 design environment and to ensure that your environment is properly set up for the other tutorials. To start 2020 Design, if you don't see the shortcut bar, simply click Start, All Programs, 2020 Version 8 and choose Shortcut Bar. The shortcut bar gives you quick access to 2020 programs and utilities. It is the default means of accessing 2020 design. Select the icon and the application will start. You may see the tip of the day dialog box appear. You are able to select next tip and previous tip to learn something new about 2020 design every day. You can also uncheck this and choose OK if you wish. The application has now started. You are now presented with the work area and grid as the main display. This is where you will do the majority of the work when you're in 2020 design. Below that are display tabs that will filter the display accordingly to the tab selected. To the left you have an information box which will change depending on the function you're performing. Below that an edit box and a drag and drop box. To the right of that you'll see some icons and if you hover over these, a tooltip will appear. You also note that there's toolbars along the top. You can also access any of the 2020 design functions through the pull down menus. You'll note that there's an icon and shortcut key um, presented in the pull down menu. You'll note that the icon is the same as the icon used in the toolbars, so this will help your help you with familiarity. As with any Windows environment, 2020 design is a flexible environment so you can change the settings at any time. You can pull the toolbars out of the main area and resize them, move them and even close them. To get them back you simply select view, toolbars, Selecting which toolbars you want to work with gives you quick and easy access to the commands that you will most use most and increases your productivity. To bring them back, simply check the one that you want and choose Close. Notice that, that the Render toolbar has reappeared. We can redock this into the top toolbar and maximize our screen area. Again, should you maybe hide the information, edit and drag and drop boxes, it is quite easy to get these back. Simply choose the View pull down menu and you will see that there's the drag and drop box, the information box and the edit box. Simply by selecting one of these it, the appropriate box will reappear. We can also get these back by using the icons on the toolbar along the top. If at any point you want to resize the height of these components simply move the horizontal cursor between the boxes and you'll note that the shape, cursor shape becomes a horizontal splitter. This allows you to resize by holding down the left mouse button. When you um, select on an icon or a tool, um, you will notice that on the bottom left hand portion of your screen there is a status bar. This will provide you information as to what that icon will do. By clicking it, you will note that the information box will change to an action tip. This will explain what to do. Again, more information will be displayed in the edit box as you select different icons. So as we are drawing a wall here, it has shown what to do. To simply move around 2020 design, you can use your scroll button on your mouse, which is the middle button. We can roll in and roll out and we can simply drag and rotate any of the icons or cabinets in our catalogue which we'll touch on shortly. We can even change the view of these by right mouse button clicking. To drag a cabinet onto screen onto your design you simply left click and drag and drop. Again we'll cover this in more detail in the other modules. This is pretty much the general interface of 2020 design. Again, we're going to cover the other portions of it a little bit more detail in the other modules. 